Hi, welcome to the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we will be drawing a garden gnome. So grab your drawing supplies, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and let's get right, right to it. Today we're going to make a garden gnome, and I'm going to start with a very tall upside down ice cream cone. So I'm going to make almost like you're starting a letter A. And once, once I've got that across the bottom, I'm going to make a slightly curved line to connect it. And then I'm going to make some bushy eyebrows, but little ones. So we're going to curve outwards like that, put a couple little curves coming in like that, connect it. And underneath that, I'm going to give two very tiny eyes with little reflections. So I'm leaving a small oval of white for a reflection or a circle of white. And underneath that, I'm going to give a very bulbous nose for this gnome. So this is going to be like a letter C that has fallen over. Um, but I want, I want to make sure that it's a very wide nose. Next, I'm going to start a mustache. So for that, I'm going to come out from either side of the nose and hook up. And for a gnome, you also want to be kind of thinking of this as the cheek line as you start the mustache. So that's also where the gnome's cheeks are. This also wouldn't be a bad start to drawing a Santa if you um, curved the hat down a bit. So without changing too much on this uh, lesson, you'd be able to change your drawing to a Santa pretty easily. Next, I'm going to start making a beard, and I'm going to have it fairly close to the eyebrows and not all the way to the edge of the hat. So I want to make sure that I'm in a little bit from the edge of the hat. And I'm going to curve this so that I meet up with the tip of that mustache. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm coming in a little bit from the top, from the bottom of the hat, and I'm going to curve it so I meet up with the mustache. Now that I have that, now I can go to the edge of the hat and make the outer part of the beard. And I'm basically going to make a letter U coming all the way across. Uh, but every now and then I want to make sure that I separate the beard a little bit by just hooking in. Kind of implying some hair there. And we can have some come in from up here as well. Uh, and I'm kind of jumping back and forth from one side to the other so that I can make sure it's relatively symmetrical. And for the mouth, I'm going to come in here, make a slightly curved shape right there, a very smushed letter U. Now he's got a mouth, and then right next to that, I'm going to make a pretty parallel line for his lower lip.
and we want our gnome to have a very short body, so I'm going to make his shoulders way up here, close to his mustache. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start a belt line close to his beard. And I'm going to make some lines up close to the beard at the edges of the belt. And it's up to you. If you want this to be a, a garden gnome just standing still in the garden, you could have his arms out holding something. Um, I'm going to have my gnome's hands downward. So for a thumb, I'm basically making a letter U. And for a few fingers, I'm just going to turn those U's kind of sideways and then draw the second part of that U. And now we can give a pinky by kind of making a letter J there. And again, the more you look for basic shapes, the easier it is to draw whatever you're looking to draw. Uh, I'm going to make his legs before I make the arm over on the left. So I'm going to, oh, forgot, forgot to give him his belt. Let's finish the belt first. So for a belt buckle, I'm going to make a rectangle in the middle. This part's pretty self-explanatory. I feel like we all learned how to draw pilgrims as kids and probably learned exactly this way. Uh, next, I'm going to draw an oval right here for the to go through the holes on the belt. And then from there, we can make the rest of this inner rectangle. You can kind of round off the edges if you want. Uh, then we can make a vertical line here for his shirt or his tunic, whatever, whatever it is that gnomes are wearing. Uh, and at the bottom here, I'm just going to make sort of a rounded off rectangle. And now we're going to give him some very short legs. And some boots. To, to do the boots, I'm going to make a smushed letter U to connect both of those legs. And then we're going to make a big letter C and a big backwards letter C. And then we'll make a line down in the middle and connect all of that. And next we just need to make the other arm. So I'm going to bring his arm down like this. You want it to be the same length as the other arm, ideally. And then again for the hand, we're going to make a sort of a letter J for this thumb. And for each finger, we're going to make sort of a U or a, just half of a U for that. And for the pinky, I'm going to have it poking out to the side a bit there. And you can draw some flowers in with your gnome or put him at a birthday party. Maybe he's actually wearing a birthday hat. Whatever you'd like to do with your gnome. Here is our finished garden gnome. I hope you enjoyed following along and maybe you made your own choices along the way of what your gnome should be doing, where he should be. Uh, don't, don't be afraid to stray from what I'm doing to add your own little flourishes to it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks again, and tune in next time for another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. All right, kids, now that you've finished your doodles, color them in and then share them with both Mike Page and Medfield TV. We're going to take those images and we're going to put them all over 
our station. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Thank you.